So in this picture, you can see that we have two bar magnets uh, orientated uh, vertically. And when you draw iron filings onto the white paper, the iron filings will form this imaginary uh, alignment that looks like the imaginary field lines that we are trying to understand. So extending from magnetic field, we will use this same idea of field lines where there is an empty region of space where force can be felt in the presence of these empty spaces. And we will extend this idea to gravity uh, in the context of the Earth. So the, the, the simulation that I have made uh, allows you to further understand this uh, concept. So the first thing is when you launch the app, uh, do come to the very outer space. So the very outer space shows the at the center the Earth, which you can drag to reposition it. And then you can see that the field lines are, are always being drawn. So you can see that this is a, a representation of the imaginary field lines. So the field lines are imaginary and invisible, so we can actually use these uh, lines to help us to communicate and represent these uh, ideas. And we are going to use the Earth as an example. So this is a test mess that you can drag uh, using your finger and you can press play and it will plot uh, quite close to what we know as magnetic, uh, like gravitational field lines. So when I do this, I will make sure that I, I'm positioning them at roughly equal position. Uh, so sometimes uh, a bug will happen and you can see that I can no longer drag the mass anymore. So when this happens, always click reset. And in a pretty short time, it should be able to go back to its original state. So this is an example of uh, a few lines which is pretty strong around the region of space around the Earth's surface but weaker as you are going to outer space uh, around these regions. So what happened is uh, you can go to outer space. Outer underscore space. So when you're in outer space, again you can do the same thing. You can draw these imaginary field lines if you like uh, as an activity that allows you to further understand this. So these imaginary field lines, again, you can see that uh, again uh, around the Earth's surface, they should be stronger than when it is further apart because the line gaps are further away over here as compared to over here. Now what happens if the... Near underscore Earth underscore surface. Oh, okay, we need to reset the simulation before choosing the option because I didn't make it such that it will reset. Near underscore Earth underscore surface. So here in this case, you notice that as you get nearer to the Earth's surface, you notice that the field lines start to become more and more uniform, meaning that they are very underscore near underscore strength. Earth underscore surface. And in this particular case, you can see that uh, this is almost as if that it is a uniform field lines. That means if you were to uh, put an object here, okay, you would have plotted, you would have gone down, and uh, the acceleration would have been constant. So this is what we want you to learn as far as the curriculum outcome is concerned. Uh, what are some of the computer simulations that would be of interest to you is you can actually do some pretty interesting two-body field vectors. Two vector bodies lines. field vectors. So in this particular case, you can see that uh, this is a, a concept which is quite near to the idea of field lines. So if you were to draw somewhat connect connect all, the, all these few vectors, you can somewhat get few lines. So this is a, another kind of representation called few vectors, which is similar to few lines. But on a computer, it is easier to, to draw. And this is also showing you that uh, the relative, you can, you can drag this and you can see how it actually will show you the few vectors which you can then approximate it to be few... Three bodies, field vectors. Few, few lines. So if, if this is a three-body system, and then you can see that now you can drag this, and you can see how the few lines will, will be... can be imagined to be drawn. Now, why is this useful? Uh, Five bodies, why, field why vectors. Why learning this will be meaningful? Because there's an idea that you can see that uh, in real-life application, Sometimes uh, we can actually see uh, in this particular 
National Environmental Agency's website in Singapore, they show you this also same thing that is quite similar to what I have just explained. These are also called the uh, wind vectors. So this is showing you the direction of the, the wind as it flow. And you can see that this learning few lines as well as few vectors have real life application.